My name is Tony Astor. I'm here to make a, a video series on how to, sh to make the best use of Amazon Prime. I'm actually making this video clip to our friends who is trying to make the best use of using their Amazon Prime. And one of the major thing I like about it is the benefit of actually storing uh, our photos. Um, I have about 80,000 photos um, that I store it on Amazon Prime and it's all paid for every year because uh, I only paid uh, actually paid 35 or 50 dollars as a student for a year to store my photos that's besides having an unlimited videos um, watching streaming through Amazon Prime video as well as unlimited streaming of audio music and these are really prime music that you're listening to. I'm listening to jazz playlists they create a playlist for you kind of like a, a paid for Spotify or Apple iTunes music but they have pretty good selections of really um, best-selling music and you can actually download it but anyway I'm just here to talk about the photo storage and how to set it up and actually uh, while it's being stored you can actually display it on your widescreen sort of like a, uh, like a photograph uh, frame look at the frame on, on my uh, right side of the screen actually right there and uh, you could see and this is the flashing TV screen of course you'll be more attracted to this one when um, us basically right now is just watching through the 10 years that we've taken pictures and uh, no more crash hard drive which I lost two hard drives already and so it's pretty reliable um, it's been a year that we stored this and we have this feature through Amazon Prime so let me just show you once you get to the screen of uh, Amazon this is the screen of the streaming um, actually of the uh, Amazon Fire TV that's the menu and I'll show you the box this is this tiny box similar to an i uh, Apple TV or Roku okay but I'm here to show you how to actually store and appreciate your photos oh, right now I'm actually listening to streaming music and look at the menu and the next one in the menu is the recently viewed uh, photos because I viewed it usually it just automatically flash kind of like a screensaver if you set it up for five minutes Your photo streaming will come out, but if you won't just want to view it just go to the menu photos There you go, and if you want to watch the whole thing randomly I like it random so it flashes on different timeline and you just click that and one of the menu is start slideshow um, Go ahead and start that and the way I set it up here was uh, you click this button menu of setup um, there is the setting I like it on mosaic where it flashes tiny uh, cut down photos for you it will actually crop it for you um, and, and actually put the perfect size so you can appreciate each individual photos um, um, this is also good if you don't have a uh, if you have less than 12 megapixels uh, camera because it doesn't expand as big as the size of the television um, I like it mosaic instead of pan and zoom so I have it fast so so you can start appreciating the photos on on almost like a daily basis while you li listening to the streaming music uh, one way of setting it up uh, is to put it on pan and zoom if you actually want to see all the the pores of your skin on the photos and actually expand it. This is if you have more than 12 megapixels of your camera um, and photos. So it's actually gonna show the entire photograph in a huge screen like this. And uh, <clears throat> I don't even have a, an, you know, this is an old Panasonic television. So with those uh, latest uh, TV screen, you can actually appreciate it more um, this is a I think it's a four years old television uh, so it's much more beautiful with the, the other better screen so that's it
for now, folks. And that's about streaming photos using Amazon Prime, which I'm only paying $50 a student. If you're not a student, you don't have an EDU account, you can only pay $99. That covers your television, your music streaming, and your unlimited cloud storage for all your photos. You can also upload your videos, unlimited, but you have to pay, uh, I, I believe it's $50 a year, but so it's not that bad. So that's it for uh, streaming photos in cloud through Amazon Fire. Thank you.